Professor Abner Williams um, and Molly McIntyre, 16 year old girl who, could, who is attempting to uh, test the boundaries of emo. Empathy rolls, please. They come over to your table, <coughs> introduce themselves, get to see your ID or your PI IDs. So his name was Ebner Williams, or is that if it was Ebner Adams? Ebner Adams. Adams, yes, sorry. Um, Freddie, uh, either both of them are coming on to you. Everybody oh. else, uh, the guy seems, oh, there you go. Uh, the guy seems very depressed and sad, and uh, the uh, girl feels guilty. And Freddie has got a strange look in his eyes. An unhealthy look. Maybe he needs to be lit on fire. Maybe he'll light himself on fire. Hmm. We can only hope. <laughs> uh, Professor Adams. Uh, Thank you so much for coming. Yes. What can you tell us about this missing person situation? Oh, my daughter. She's She's gone missing. Her name is Angelique. Uh, she's a talented singer. We clash frequently over her desire to drop out of high school to pursue a singing career. I'd begun to forbid her from going to tryouts after catching her with a stash of recreational drugs. She ran away about six months ago, um, maxed out the credit, my credit card at local stores and ATMs, and she took her demo recordings and a bag of clothes and was just gone. I was her best friend, says the uh, black-haired girl. I knew she'd run away, but until I got a message from her uh, two weeks ago, I hadn't heard from her. So you hadn't heard from her. Did you know where she was running away to? Yes. I, I, Which was? Vegas. She was running away to Vegas. Yes. And she hadn't contacted you since then, since she ran away? Not even to let you know she made it? No. Was, had she, was that strange? Mm. Uh, no. Here's a picture of us together. So you don't know why she was running off? She wanted to become a singer. She glances at the old guy. No matter what. Who did she know there that she was going to meet? I'm not sure. I don't know. I I just, I, I couldn't, after her mother died, I, I was just lost on how to, to raise a young girl like that. I, I just don't understand what to do. The message that I got from her when she was wanting to come home is there was some sort of cult wackos there and things weren't going well and she wanted to get out of there. And then I didn't hear from her again. May we see your phone so we can see the message? Uh, or did she verbally speak to you as opposed to SMS? It was on a pay phone. I... I'm sorry, what time What time period is this world again? I start no, looking uh, around at things. 1980s tech. 1980s tech, thank you. Yeah, it'd been funnier if uh, she pulled out a bake a light phone. I brought it just in case you wanted to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so some sort of occult wackos. Um, had there, Miss uh, Professor Adams, had there been any further transactions on um, your daughter's accounts after she <clears throat> left? No, but I was able to get hold of a passenger manifest from the uh, bus company. Um, okay. One person, a woman named Lil Fresh, uh, bought a ticket and checked in 
uh, for the trip on the terminal, um, but never boarded. Sorry, we're talking about from Vegas coming back here, from here to Vegas six months ago. Uh, coming back here. I'm not sure if it should have been two weeks ago that they found this shit out. I think it was more recent than that. A lot more recent than that. Like the other day type thing. All right, so we just contacted, contacted a couple of days ago. Or less. Okay. Sure. Oh, it was two weeks ago that they that they started trying to research more stuff into what was going on. Maybe, yeah. Fuck it. Why Why would they start researching two weeks ago unless they? That makes no sense to me either. So I just deleted all, all that shit. Everybody, take a card. Logan doesn't know what he's doing. So, um, right. Um, so she okay. tried to get back the other day. And then nobody heard from her. Um, Molly, Molly says, all I know is that uh, before the weekend before Angelique went away, she'd gone to an edgy open talent audition in Chicago. And she told me afterwards she was heading west. Uh, she got a call back for a stage test. I, I didn't hear anything until she contacted me wanting to get out again. I'd like you to bring Angelique home or failing that, uh, anybody responsible for harming her, bring them to justice, says the guy. Everybody give me a law roll. L-A-W, yeah, so how old is she anyway? Um, she's 16. Okay. So is she actually, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, at age 16 or less, they're basically slaves. You can do whatever mm -hmm. you want with them. That's what I was thinking. Know. So do you have a collar and chain for her that we can use to bring it back? <laughs> he just gave say you. Uh, Fulton, uh, with your successful law roll, because apparently you're a lawyer, man. Holy! <laughs> She is considered a minor. Special laws come into effect depending on the situation. Uh, due to the delicacy of this sort of uh, case, getting a copy of her birth certificate and a power of attorney from her father uh, before dashing off would possibly prevent needing to dash back in the near future. I ask for these things. He gives them to you. I mean, it's not instant. He has to go get them and you wait I was around. Say, for Mark, you're prepared, sir. <laughs> what, was, the was, what was the two items a birth certificate and power, power of attorney, attorney. Uh, basically yeah. it show, uh, it's a big letter uh, official letter from an attorney saying that you are working for him and that he wants his little girl back the the um all, all that I know, uh, says uh, Molly, is that the place that gave her the the test before she decided to go out west was called Blaze of Glory. So the tell, the place in Chicago was called Blaze of Glory, was it? Yes. B L A Z E. Where are we at right now? Well, no. We're in a small college town in Nowheresville. But near Chicago. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah. I was we were. That's that's what I want. Like I was like, are we in a different state? Like where the fuck? Yeah, I'm um, traveling around crazy. Yeah, you're you're in the kind of town that children wish to escape from, and parents wish to uh, have them grow up in. It's a dichotomy. So. Molly, did you go to the talent show to support her? No. Did, do you know if anybody went with her? No. Nobody went know? with her as far as I know. She just went by herself. Okay. How did she, she get there? She around, looks uncomfortable. How did she get there? I, I roll empathy on her lie right there. <laughs> did you write a crit? 
Yeah. He, 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 he did. He's uncomfortable because uh, she should have probably told uh, the guy's dad, but she didn't. So she's feeling a lot of guilt that she could have done something and all that. But she didn't. She was part of the cover up, the conspiracy, the oh my God, everything's a lie. No, wait. So and so, there was no no other friends went with her. How did you get there? That was what I was asking. Bus, taxi, I don't know. She just went. Maybe got a ride. I don't know. Does no. your daughter keep a diary? No. I I look at the girl when I ask that. She rolls her eyes. Where is it? How? How does she roll her eyes? Oh yeah, it's Lee Stack eyes. It's hard to roll. She <laughs> she can keep a diary as far as uh, either of them now. No, are you sure? Mm -hmm. They both nod. May we look at look at her room after we're finished here? Yes, of course. That's the guy. Anything you. to help? Of course. Thank you. Um, did she play any instruments or did she just sing? Uh, she was a singer. Okay, so she wasn't like play guitar and sing. She just sang. What sort of was there any particular genre that she preferred to sing? They discuss her music career with you. The it shows the camera slowly move to the clock and then back to you, <laughs> and that's pretty much all that I know about it. And she didn't keep a diary, and you don't know where it might be. I look at the girl again, since I mean. There's no diary, she says. Can no. I? Her her diary was her music. She was a musician. Oh, so, so where did she write her song lyrics that she would then be? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe in her bedroom or something? She never shared that with you as being her best friend. No, she would sing it. And she She's would never there. write them down. Do you have any no. recordings of her singing? Uh, she took her demo tapes with her, but uh, I've got this. She gives you a cassette tape. Thank you. I put a pencil in it and, like, tighten it. Mm -hmm. You feel so old. <laughs> I do. I'm going to go kill myself now. <laughs> you notice that Slee Stack cassette tapes have, like, a little horn in the top? A lot of slee stack stuff have horns. Some of the cars have horns, the same way that cars now have fins or spoilers and shit. Everything's so horny here. Exactly. Especially Freddy. He's like looking at the old guy and the young girl and kind of like grinding his seat a little bit. This isn't a normal thing for him? Uh, not normally. Ever since uh, smoke came out of his ear, he's been a changed man. Mm. Perhaps he's getting... Hot under the collar. Oh, Jesus. Go kill yourself. I have paid sick. That. While he's gone, several uh, gorillas wander by and uh, outside, when not being led by a guy on a unicycle. Just mm. so that way what? Know, something interesting happens. I just pull it out the window like. <laughs> I know you. The guy in the unicycle tries his best to ignore Freddy's glare. Where are you going? Come back here. <laughs> Freddy yells at the guy in the unicycle. Mm. As, he, as he's screaming at the guy on the unicycle, you notice... Uh, both of you two give me spot hidden rolls. Some guys uh, uh, smoking. You can still smoke back then. Anywhere you fucking wanted. Spot hidden, you said? That's right, Nick. Excuse me. You notice that uh, when he throws away his matchbook, it has an odd design on it. I let rush out. I'm going to grab the matchbook. 
the guy sees somebody, some shaved monkey rushing at him. He goes, ah! <laughs> Freddy goes, Ta -da! And holds up an empty matchbook. Is he all right? Says the old guy. No. <laughs> I come yeah, back and with the matchbook. I come right. back in with the matchbook. All right, it's your matchbook now. Full ten. Look, look. It's you notice book. that on the inside it has a slightly different design. Look, full ten. Mm -hmm. look. It's the mm -hmm. transcendent. See this? Mm -hmm. See this? Yeah. Mm. I think you need to calm yourself, sir. Uh, it's just an empty book of matches, says the client. It's not just an empty book of matches. It's everything. It's everywhere. You don't understand. How can it be everywhere, says the girl? As she says that, you see outside a guy wandering by in a t-shirt that has uh, the this emblem on it. <laughs> McKay, look, look, the matchbook. Just as McKay gets there and looks, he's holding up an empty matchbook in front of you, and on one side it has one symbol, and on the other side it has the other symbol. He appears to be very agitated and is freaking out the client. I should get going, says the guy. Me too, says the girl. So we can come, we, so, um, um accessing your daughter's, moment. accessing hey. your daughter's room. You continue talking as they hurry off. Freddy's apparently freaked them out. I'm just staring at the matchbook right now. <laughs> okay. So did you learn anything else besides us now having a mixtape of hers? The no. set tape looks nicely tightened. All right. So we just need to get a tape deck to play it. Uh, uh, the clients drive off. Yeah, they'll be back, you're thinking. Are we gonna go after them? Or? Psycho. Do you want me to chase them down? I can chase them down. No, no. Like, we're gonna go to their house, aren't we? Well, we've got the power of attorney, which will have the address on it, so we can use that to know go to her, his house. It's a car chase. <laughs> no, it's not a car chase. <laughs> Uh, the waitress comes over with the bill and puts it down on the table since you guys are the only ones sitting at the table. That's all right. I'll pay for it. I've got expenses. Uh, Twelve slee stack dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she looks at Freddy. I understand yeah. the matchbook. And where did you get the matchbook from? A guy was smoking a pipe, and he threw it away. And the guy, there was another guy on a unicycle. I've seen him before. He's everywhere. The, was he on a... Yes, he the same he one. He wasn't on a penny farthing, was he? Yes, penny farthing, that one. So not a unicycle, a penny farthing. <laughs> same shit, potato, potato. No, they're not. A unicycle is one-wheeled, a penny farthing is two-wheeled. Was it was a unicycle... It was a unicycle before, but you. It was a unicycle. And of course, he had stuff following him. And he had you know, gorillas following him. You know why I'm asking if it was a penny farthing or not? Yes, the village has one, I know. That's, that's the symbol on all their clothes as well. Yes. <coughs> all right. But look, the matchbook. Yes, it's a matchbook with the symbols on it. It's I'll be back. like. It's like with the red st red jewel that's appearing everywhere. Yes. I put it in my pocket. So, where to now? Uh, let us go to his residence. Cut to you're emerging back from his residence. After careful searching, you've discovered nothing pertinent to the case in there. No, we can cross that off the list. Totally. That's how you save time, Freddy. <laughs> You've listened to and read a lot of her songs. 
it's kind of the upbeat popish type okay. walking on sunshine stuff all right um not a lot of hidden symbolic messages in there take us to the post office ready please um, i will avail of I, I think it's the post office that had this stuff um the phone books for other areas no problem. Uh, yes, you you uh, go to the post office and whatnot. Uh, you hear Freddie screaming at somebody as you're in the post office and whatnot. You poke your head out and he's like pointing at somebody you can't see and yelling and whatnot. He seems really agitated. It's kind of like having uh, somebody with a severe mental condition with you and they just go off at different times and then calm back down. You're not sure what the deal is. You go back to your research. What, what was it you were looking for? I went to get the Chicago telephone books and look up Blaze of Glory to get their phone number and address details. You have all that information now. Right. Freddie is honking the horn at something. You're not sure what. It sounds like he's beating on the horn rather than just honking it. I shall pause on the stairs and light my pipe. All right, no problem. Uh, when Fulton comes out, all the people on the penny farthings had already fucked off, and uh, um, Freddie just sitting there clutching the wheel and shaking it, going. Aah. So, how far away are we from Chicago? We a fair way, was it? A um, couple hours drive. All right, well, I guess we'll call him first, and and how far are we from Vegas? Ooh riding around the fucking well we're in ohio so yeah that means nothing to me seven seven eight hours probably yeah a either a short plane ride or a long drive it's longer than seven or eight hours the usa is uh, fucking huge all right so i'll tell you so we plus you'll be going from chicago to vegas those are on opposite coasts so full out road trip yep all right i have case as we attempt to suck them into the madness. Oh, this is the not mad part. What right. could have got to do with it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the dogs is being cantankerous tonight. Damn. Oh, you and your fancy words. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pete's a fancy boy. All right. Just so um, oh, just so you know, I gave everybody a card. Uh, I forgot, although uh, Henry Young would not have forgotten. He did stress to avoid the cops if at all possible, avoid the government at all costs. Okay, why? Uh, to avoid being experimented on, chopped up, uh, uh, labeled a uh, ape, etc. This is the usual spiel yeah. with animation. Yes. Also, this is a prestige mod for anybody that I forgot to okay. mention that to. So I gave everybody a card for that. Yeah. Yay. Mm -hmm. The gods despise you. Discard all your oh. hands. Disguise all your cards. Do not refill your hand. Sulk. Uh. <sighs> now, uh, just so you know, the slee stacks don't like to fly at all. In fact, yeah, they, say, dude, they don't have planes, do they? Exactly. So we so, can't fly. Right. Well, uh, I have a loot that can fly. If you want to use that. Yeah, I don't want to get shot out of the sky. I mean, what? Eh. No! No! I hate you so much. Damn but, you, uh, gods, why you despise him? Did you get gods despise you as well? No, you got rid of camaraderie. I had a camaraderie which I was hanging on to. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. And so I, was hanging, I was hanging on to it to help with the sand. I know. Happy days. 
Wait, Chris might have a limited retreat. He's not going to spend it on that. I'll fucking make him spend it. Really? <laughs> Although, to be fair, we'd probably lose it by then. Oh, yeah. So, probably not worth it. No. What could possibly go wrong? So, anyway, I would you guys like to drive a couple hours over to Chicago to talk to people? Or I thought you were going to phone them. I was going to phone them first, and then phone depending on the here. outcome of the phone call, then I'll drive. Okay, uh, you get on the phone and. Uh, uh, um blaze of glory may i help you uh, good afternoon i was just calling up um i understand you occasionally run um talent contests there uh yes are you okay. are you part of the talent uh no 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 i just had some questions um i'm doing a story on new oh. talent oh ah. She gives you a number for the reporters to call. Okay. Repeat to make sure you get it. Okay. Have a good day. All right, yes, I note it down and I shall call that number. Blaze of glory, may I help you? Says it'd be funny if it was the same lady. But oh, I was thinking lady. what to read if it was. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Um, good afternoon. Yes, um, I understand you do talent contests there. I'm writing an article about um, new talent and undiscovered talent. Oh, that is exactly what we look for. New and undiscovered talent. And how often do you hold your talent contest? Uh, as often as we collect enough people to uh, have one. Okay, uh, so it's you don't, you don't have it you don't have it as a set time or anything no sadly no would you like uh tickets to come to the next one we'll give you a press pass um which are I, a magazine or newspaper or periodical do you represent a uh, big city iowa gazette oh yes that is a prestigious periodical <laughs> She looks at the camera and shakes her head like, couldn't be bothered to name it, could you, Frank? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, I'm calling it what you called it, sir. No, you can't give it a name. She's angry, she's angry at the production manager for the yes. series. Yes. <laughs> um, I should leave it a bit longer. Okay. So, yeah, so unfortunately it's a bit far to, bit far to travel. Oh, all I right think. um but um oh if you, you could send them i suppose send them and if i'll, I can I'll ask Indeed. the editor if we can get some budget to travel up there get a bus up there or drive we'd be delighted to have you as our guests thank you um so <laughs> when okay so when was the last one you had so how many yeah, you had like so? yesterday okay and before that uh, she begins reeling off various dates and stuff, but uh, yeah. I just want to get an idea of how often they seem to have it. Uh, minimum once a week, maximum three times a week. Oh, that often? Yes. They haul okay. in people from all over the country. Okay. And I'm, I'm assuming you get talent scouts there as well? Yes. Have you? Well, had we also we also uh, send them out like other places that other places contact us saying we want new singers and then we send them to them. Okay, so have you had anybody discovered? Many people. She reels off a bunch of people you don't care about. That's right. I it's like, oh really? Well, there you go. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I show interest and surprise, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um. So, um, do you have, for example, do you, what about from Vegas and from the casinos and stuff? Do you ever have them looking oh, for new talent yes. as backup singers or front singers and stuff like that? She reels off more people you don't care about. That's all right. I'll, I'll note down the ones from Vegas specifically. Many. Yes. Okay. Vegas is a popular place. 
Okay, so do you tend to keep track of, um, like, if there's particular singers or particular people that um, people express interest in? Do you keep track of them just to of see course. where they're going? Of course. Um, now, a um, we're interested. There's one particular one we're actually curious about. As um, uh, one of the entertainment uh, writers has heard some of her music, so we're curious to um, find out a bit more of her background. Um, she may have um, been there under the name of Lil Fresh. We don't divulge any backgrounds and such. Okay. Do you know? We'll have um, to interview them. Yes. Yes. So I'll just. I'm just trying to give us some background. For example, if there was a, any particular talent scouts or something expressed interest in her. Give me a fast talk roll. She's reluctant to part with this information, but you've done a good job of laying the bullshit. Mm -hmm. uh, fast talk. Yes. Hmm. She says, uh, yes, uh, we put her in contact with TC Productions. TC Productions. They operate out of Las Vegas, and they're connected with the former uh, uh, 30 years ago uh, teen idol, uh, Todd Christopher. Okay. Uh, TC Productions uh, wants raw talent and is over willing to overlook uh, uh, a lot of uh, things in order to get raw talent. Uh, they have cool. a standing order for singers fitting the profile uh, with many reputable talent agencies. Okay, interesting. And they and they liked what they saw with um, Lil. Nice. Yes. Okay. Have they um, since Lil has have they expressed any interest in any of the other performers? Not yet, but we are hoping to uh, be able to send them more in the future. Beautiful. Well, ma'am, thank you very much for your um, assistance, and I'll make note to send yourselves a copy of the article once it's in thank print. Thank you so much. Uh, she gives you more particulars. Uh, yep. right, uh, Pete, please tell Chris why I gave him a card. Why you gave Chris a card? Why I gave everybody a card. From oh, the yes. police thing. Yeah, yeah, from the police. Yeah, ba basically... Henry Young would have told us to avoid the government and the cops as they sometimes like to pick up monkeys and experiment on them. <laughs> are there many of, are there many humans uh, uh, besides ourselves? Do we actually see any other humans about at all? I wasn't sure as to what no. sort of, if it's, if they what? take no, note it of it. Might be like... Well, it's something that's close ish to human, like old four eyes and stuff. I'd say one out of every 200. It's kind of like being a white guy in an oriental place. Don't see a lot of other white guys. Black guys are even more rare, which makes me sad. I want to visit Morgan Freeman. I want to have him come and explain shit to me. Yeah. But Why they, can't he come and explain but, things? Okay, but there, there are, so we would occasionally attract attention, but it's not to the extent of, oh, my God, what the hell are you? Right. Yeah, but the, the other humans aren't quite humanish like for example they may have 10 fingers per hand they may have four eyes they may have three eyes they may have an extra leg etc it's human ish okay um oh all right, so... i forgot everybody give me a sandy roll for slee stack unless you have slee stack maxed out fortunately it's a mild sandy roll unless you're freddy in which case your mind is fucking turning into jello If you make it, I believe it's zero. If you fail it, it's only D4 as Freddy's mind becomes more jello. Mm -hmm. ah, he says getting nickel and dime to death. Ah. Max eight. Yeah, Max eight. Max eight. Cool. So that's what you found out from that. Anything else uh, you'd like to check out? Um, so we searched just to give you an update, Chris. We mm -hmm. searched a daughter's room, didn't find anything. 
Um, I went to the post office, looked in the phone book, got Blazer Glory's address and phone, gave him a call, pretended to be a reporter, got some information, found out the talent agency TC Productions, Las Vegas, expressed interest in Lil Fresh when she sang there, asked them for her details. And they run talent contests once, one to three times a week. It's pretty regular there. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that check them out and stuff. Um, apparently TC Productions, uh, teen idol Todd Christopher from 30 years ago or something. So generally TC being Todd Christopher. So we're not with something formed by his parents or him himself. I don't know. So we may need to look into some background on it. And on him. So I'm hearing you want to go to the library. At, yeah, I, yeah. Well, I suppose this is a college. This was a college town, wasn't it? So potentially the okay. university library may be better resource than the town public library. Okay. You guys uh, crawl back through the windows of the car, and as you're driving on a nice, sedate way to there, Freddie, up ahead, off to one side, like kind of uh, close to the sidewalk, but not like in the middle of the street, you see some guy who's going the same direction on the same street you are, but he is on a fucking penny farthing bike, one of the big tires and the small back tires. And he's just pedaling along, and you're like looking at him going... <laughs> As I pass him, I yell out the window, Fuck you! And I drive by. <laughs> what is your problem? Come on now. <laughs> oh, it's better than I thought he was going to do to the guy. But... <laughs> well, I'm glad he didn't sideswipe him. That's all right. <laughs> he, he screams at very. The slee stack uh, it shows him with like a, one huge fucking monocle and pops out as Freddy screams at him. Oh, my. <laughs> Right, you guys reach the uh, library and whatnot. See what we can find out about ex-teen idol Todd Christopher from 30 years ago and TC Productions. What would you like me to research in particular? Well, if we all focus, uh, at the moment, that seems to be our primary lead is Todd Christopher and okay. TC Productions. So... Um, we might as well look into that at the moment. Oh, and something else, Chris, uh, the slee stack don't fly. So we have to drive or get a bus to Vegas. We can't okay. get a plane. Just Why as don't they fly? They're afraid of flying. Yeah. Chris, you're coming in softer than the other two. Sorry. I didn't know you would really like it hard, Logan. He always likes it hard. You know that. Well, you know. You know I like the rough stuff. A little. Woo. So, <laughs> that'll be much better on the uh, uh, podcast version. Anyway, uh, right. So, um, who's researching what now? Or is everybody researching the same shit? Unless somebody's got an idea of something else to research at this stage, that seems to be our, our primary lead. So everybody's researching Todd Christopher? Mm-hmm. If we do a All right. effort, we may everybody find... Everybody give me research roles. I was going to research um, his actual company while they do him. Uh, the mm -hmm. TC Productions? Mm-hmm. But if only you could discover what TC stood for. We know exactly what it stands for. Fucking fuck. <laughs> Talentless oh. cunts. I mean, um... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go by half. Sorry about that. To those who find the word offensive. That really? Really? Yeah. Gonna, for all the things that's happened in the campaign, that's yeah. what you're going to apologize for. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, well, all the things that have happened in the campaign, I have not done. Mm -hmm. Well, there are some of them I've done. My, <laughs> my idea to use the elves as suicide bombers, um, for example. Hmm. All right, so everybody made their research roll 
Okay. Yeah, minus yeah. by quarter or minus 60. Oh, there's one off a crit. Bump. Now, keep in mind that uh, Wikipedia doesn't exist, so ignore the formatting this is in. This is the information that you obtain, but it's not in this formatting. And there's that. Did I put you on that page? No. No. There. Yeah, I'll give you something to fucking read, and let me see if I can find Chris's shit here. Actually, do you want to go ahead and read read just the high points to the studio audience, uh, Pete? Mm-hmm. Let me zoom in. Let's see what I come up with on TC Productions. All right, so he was, looks like, all right, so <laughs> James Kenneth McDaniel, born 27th, of September 1950. Um, Just the high points. Coda, uh, tambourine and vocals. He's years active with 67 to 70 and 2008 to present. Uh, let's see. American actor, singer, producer. Best known for his bubblegum pop singing career during the 60s and 70s. Uh, he's now master master of ceremonies in a Las Vegas production show, Over the Edge. Uh, <clears throat> scanning, scanning, puppies and kittens is his biggest single, number one for several weeks. Showed several impressive vocal range and ability to hit and hold sustained high notes. Uh, Shows a midget kicking him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he, in the middle of recording an album in the 70s, a more adult contemporary album, he didn't finish it, dropped out, abandoned it, dropped out of public eye for decades, only occasionally seen in nightclubs, like industry func uh, functions. Never married, has no children, linked to a number of young models and actresses in his heyday. Uh, he's had several albums, including a ballad al album. Uh, his albums were aimed at the teeny bopper set. Uh, he was occasionally criticised for squandering his obvious vocal talent on those sort of s albums. Uh... That's what you found there, Chris. I copy-pasted your shit in. He was a mainstay on late 60s variety hour programs, last appearance in 1970. And, yes, he re serviced unexpectedly unexpectedly as a master of ceremonies for Over the Edge, a Las Vegas floor and variety show. Hmm, apparently my TV was would have been the pop thing. Chris, can you give us the high points of yours? Hold on. <laughs> so the high points is that TC Productions actually is a child um, kidnapping and selling to people production company. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I didn't get that out of there, but okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Um, rumor okay. has it that TC Productions can put on made-to-order parties for A-listers in which illegal substances and our unique entertainments sometimes make appearances. Mm -hmm. uh, so young girls, they disappear, and they go to TC, and they become employed, and they go to A-listers, and who knows if they ever show up again. Hmm. That's what that's what I got out of it, but you know, hey, it, it, it's very topical, isn't it? Actually, hmm. considering what's happening in the U.S. recently. 
Mm, good point. Well, we like perversion in the U.S. a lot, apparently. Also, since you made yours at a quarter, Chris, there's apparently some sort of hoopla going on a couple days ago at the uh, time when uh, this Angelique uh, little fresh person was supposed to be getting on a bus. There's a lot of hoopla going on at a bus station. Mm. Would you like more information on the hoopla? Please. Very well. Let's see how. Oh. Hoopla. Mm. I like that. They sell kids. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair well, enough. no, they rent kids. Come on. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Las Vegas news. Um, okay, here is the... Let's see. Make sure you guys are in the right thing. Chunk. Picture. Uh, you're going to have to... Sorry, you're going to have to zoom in on that. It's middle right. Uh, let's see. Um... Transcript of TV news report on Las Vegas bus terminal called the bathroom incident. Um, it's the morning of Angelique's uh, disappearance. Um, fire and hazmat teams were dispatched to the main bus terminal early this morning after a report of a toxic chemical spill in a lady's bathroom in the public area of the terminal. Wow, that's some shitty writing. Metro PD subsequently cordoned off the rest of the area around the bathroom, which will remain closed, likely for several days. A spokesman for the fire department said the spill was contained to the bathroom, and there appeared to be one fatality. No further comment was offered by law enforcement officials. Accompanying video shows a swarm of people in hazmat suits who have erected, erected a pressure tent perimeter at the entrance to the restroom alcove in the bus terminal. After a cut, a cooler-like sealed box bearing biohazard markings could be seen being removed from the pressure tent and loaded into an ambulance. Las Vegas CSI shows a bunch of overly sexy people who are obviously not the kind of people who work in this kind of thing are on scene taking photographs. Uh, photograph, uh, all the news footage is uh, taken from what appears to be a good distance away, like they're not allowed closer in. Uh, let's see, according to uh, this guy, upper middle, this is obviously an alien incursion, he says. It's the Greys. They are the ones doing this. Okay. Are we supposed to picture him as a sleaze stack? Yes. <laughs> Freddie looks suspiciously at this guy who keeps popping up in every conceivable zone. I was going to say, I've seen an Asian version of him. Yes. In Cyberpunk Hong Kong. Exactly. Um... Let's see. Uh, so that's what you find. Uh, that's that's pretty much uh, Doc's incidental information. So, do the gray are the gray? What are the grays? Aliens. Oh, so the gray aliens? They live here too. Uh, oh, did we tell said. you about the working spaceship we found here? <laughs> oh. The oh, yes, just reminded please. me of that. Yes, please tell them about yeah, that. Yeah, you guys fucking forgot that. Oh, Go that ahead. might be a good way. That, that might be a faster way of getting to Las Vegas, actually. Um, basically, there was a spaceship. A previous mission we were working for the agency involved a um, people getting abducted from a town. Uh, when we investigated it, we ended up finding that the individuals who were abducting the aliens were doing so because they needed to test them for a fungus. Uh, the individuals were a goateed version of Mildred and you. So the spaceship in, so I know where the spaceship is, if it's still there. 
um, it was fully it was well fully functional from a flying perspective. The navigation gear was missing, so was the weapon. However, the tractor the tractor beam for taking people into the spaceship was fully functional as well. And there was twenty seven alien probes there designed for detecting this um, fungus. Mm. So there's a fungus among us. Yes. Mm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So yes. You see, uh, Freddie, how calmly he takes this information. I'm sure he's cleaning on the inside. <laughs> sure. <laughs> right. So. Mm -hmm. And then. And, also, and then. Well, that. We left it. It's, it's, we left it there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's hidden in a cave. The cave's got traps and stuff out the front of it. Yes. Mine. Mine, mine, <coughs> mines and stuff, which, which our Mildred ran straight through because of all the because of the alcohol and the fact that it was a version of her with a goatee and you know how she likes herself. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But uh, the other doc, uh, basically the other the other doc and the other Mildred disappeared through a portal. That the other doc created with a gun. Hmm. With a gun? Yes. I think um, uh, Rick and Morty. Mm -hmm. A portal gun? Yes. Yeah, I've never gun. heard of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Now, if we can only get our hands onto a portal gun. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't believe what they did with all that stuff, Chris. What, left it there because we couldn't fly the spaceship? Yep. So, Chris told him how to get good at flying a spaceship. You get in it and you keep flying it until everything's destroyed around you. And you limp away slowly. Same way I learned how to drive a car. Same way I learned how to drive everything I can drive. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, well, after you guys break for lunch, mark off uh, $15 there, Pete. Mm -hmm. You guys are back. You're ready to do your next set of library researching, or you can do something else. Um, that was essentially the rest of your morning. So I suppose we could check to see if there's any update in the news in regards to the... bus stop issue. Excuse me. Oh. Tower of Babel Hotel. Great. Oh, hundred people. What, what could possibly go wrong? So, is there anything you guys wanted to research in during the afternoon, or would you like to do something? Um, yeah, I just want to see if we can find any reviews or anything of the Over the Edge stage show. Uh, 